morning. Good morning. I think it's still morning. <laughs> anyway, we just got back from the grocery store mm -hmm. and we're going to show you our grocery haul. Grocery haul. So, so here we go. <clears throat> okay, so I did get quite a few little snacky things. Yeah. They had these Snyder's um, on Hilded. special. So I got the um, peanut, peanut butter, butter filled and then the seasoned seasoned twisted. Mm -hmm. And I also got some barbecue. barbecue potato chips. And I picked up these baked pea puffs um, in the cheese flavor. And I also picked up a bag of these Caladad. I don't know if that's how you say it or not. Um, tortilla chips. Those things are amazing. Yes, they're so um, good. My mother gave me some coffee, so I'll add that to my stash. I also picked up some barbecue pistachios, some sweet chili pistachios, two bags of the Lily's um, milk chocolate style covered caramels. These things are amazing and then we got some donuts, donuts. can you put those on the counter over there Abby? yep Let me put this. thank you i picked up another bag of the dave's killer bread plain bagels these things are really good i enjoy those and some more of the saint pierre brioche hot dog rolls these don't have soy in them so i can eat them Two packages of the La Banderita um, tortillas. <clears throat> Again, no soy, so yay. I also got a package of these Sweet Lauren's um, veggie brownie cookie dough. It's break apart cookie dough. These things are really, really good. Um, my daughter picked out these Outshine fruit bars in the peach flavor. Yes. I got two navel oranges, a bunch of bananas. I got two of these salads. Um, I go shopping with my mother, and we actually got three, but she took one, and I have two of them. Um, got some cocoa powder. I know I was short on that. Um, they had their Kerrygold Irish butter on sale, so I picked up four of the um, individual sticks. I got two packages of ground pork for the dog. Um, I got some more of this oat milk non-dairy creamer for my coffee, as well as some cheese sticks for somebody to have a, for a snack. Got a bag of Fuji apples. Got some quart-sized freezer bags, some more um, water filters for our water pitcher, some kitchen trash bags. I had to get this laundry detergent because I didn't have the kind I normally get. So I just got this Ecos because it was the least expensive of the free from everything, hypoallergenic kind of, you know, uh, detergent. I got some more Oxy painter. Got two nasal sprays, two bags of Ricola because the dog ate my bag of Pop Dots. So I got two bags of those. Um, I also picked up some more eye cream, and I picked up a powder foundation. I got two more packages of the latex-free reusable gloves, because that's what I use to wash dishes. Put that back up there. Silly goose. I got some stuff for Easter, um, which somebody's not allowed to know about. Um, I got two of the True Lemon... Uh, a true citrus. The company name is actually True Citrus, but I got two of those. They were on sale two for whatever it was. Um, anyway, I got the watermelon limeade and then just the original lemonade. Um, my mom picked up a package of saltine crackers for my daughter because she and her daddy love those. I got some more applesauce. I like to get the little cups because we don't go through the big container fast enough before it goes bad, but I do like to keep it on hand. Um, I got six of these caffeinated ice drinks. I got three of the black raspberry and then three of the blue raspberry. Um... 
or three of the regular, yeah, black raspberry and then three of the blue raspberry. That's right, that was, I got a bottle of grape juice. Uh, Mima picked up some Sprite. And then I got one of these uh, packages of just the regular ice drinks here for the peanut and the husband. Um, also, they had three pound bags of red potatoes on manager special for $1.79. So I got three bags of them. And then they had another like little one pound bag for 99 cents. So I picked that up as well. Um, and I will can these. I also got some sweet potatoes to can for the dog. So we will be doing that canning project tomorrow. Is that everything we got? Yep. That's everything. And that's everything for our grocery haul. Yep. All right. Now we're going to get the groceries put away. Mm -hmm. And then Mommy's going to get cooking. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I forgot one thing <laughs> before we get started cooking. I did pick up some more distilled white vinegar. I just like to have this on hand. I use it in the laundry. I use it to clean with. I use it, you know, for pickling and cooking and all that stuff. So I just like to have that on hand. Okay, so I decided to take care of this pork roast that I cooked in a crock pot yesterday first. So I'm just going to um, <clears throat> put it in some zip top baggies here to put into the freezer. And I think I'm gonna do, get my scale. I think I'm gonna do about a pound of roast in each baggie. And I'm just gonna use my hand to get in here and get this meat and put it in this bag. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, for this whole roast, and then I'm gonna see what I have left, and I may leave the bone in the crock pot, add some water, and see if I can make some pork stock. We'll see. But that's what I'm going to do right now. And then I am going to work on my um, bone broth. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Look a little greasy. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, I've been working. I've been working. Okay, so I took care of the pork. I got four bags full. They're, they're slightly over one pound each. <clears throat> I got those bagged up. I'll put those in the refrigerator and let them chill overnight, and then I'll put them in the freezer tomorrow. I went ahead and added some water to the crock pot with the bones and the, you know, bits that you don't really want to eat so I'm going to make some uh, bone broth out of that. My chicken bone broth that I made yesterday in my last video, I think it was in my last video, yes, um, or was it my first one? Anyway, in one of my previous videos in this series, um, I went ahead and skimmed the fat off of that and I saved that fat because you can cook vegetables in it. It's just, it's called Schmaltz. I believe is how you say it, Schmaltz. I could be saying that wrong, I'm sorry if I am. Um, anyway, um, and you can cook vegetables in it. Green beans are really good cooked in it. My dog is underneath my feet. So I'm bringing that back up to temp so I can can it. So I'm going to let that come up to a nice little simmer and then I will get that jarred up to can. In the meantime, I'm going to wash some dishes and get my cans ready for when this comes up to temperature so they're all nice and ready to go. So here's our beans and it appears that they've all sealed like they're all indented in. Um, I'll be taking these off in probably just a few hours. I'll take the rings off and check all the seals, wash the jars and um, 
get them all labeled up to put on in my pantry. So here are my beans all on the shelf. They all sealed, so yay! Hi. Hi. We're planting. What are we? What are we planting? What are we planting? Seeds. Seeds. What kind of seeds are we planting? Um, flowers and herbs. Herbs. That's right. So we have a bunch of herbs here, mm -hmm. and we have three different yeah. kinds of flowers. So. We're going to plant herbs over here in this, um, in these little bed. cells over here, flowers. and we're going to plant our flowers in these over here. That's what we decided to do. Uh Did you have fun at the park with Daddy? Yeah. Did you have fun talking to Cookie and yeah. MT? Yeah. Cookie and MT are two of her friends from the competition team. Yes, I did not see him. Uh -huh. <sighs> I'm a dancer. Yes, you are. And also, where were the dancing Italian urban poles? That's our dancing right Italian here. right there. <laughs> Okay, so I did promise to show you why the flowers and herbs are going way up there at the top. Because that's tomato. Look at our tomatoes. They are ginormous. And not really sure what to do. Should I raise these all the way up? Or, I don't know. I don't know. They're just, they're ginormous. Absolutely ginormous. But, I only have about a week and then I can go plant them outside. So I'm probably going to start hardening them off. Um, probably tomorrow, actually. I'll probably start taking them outside to harden them off. So they can be planted out. Uh, probably next Friday. I think next Friday. There's my tomatoes. Okay, I'm gonna make some chia seed pudding. Full disclosure, I normally put them in these little jelly jars. I normally put my chia seed pudding in these little jelly jars. I haven't made it in a long time. And a couple of months ago, I got rid of all of my regular mouth jars because I wasn't using them. So therefore, I got rid of all of the lids, including my reusable ones, which I forgot are the ones that I put on these little jelly jars for a single serving of chia seed pudding. So, therefore, I'm going to use just some plastic wrap over the top. I'm only going to make four servings, so... Um, I'm just gonna have to put some plastic wrap and I'm just gonna have to save my peanut butter lids uh, because those will fit on a regular mouth jar, including these little jelly jars. But this is like the perfect size for a chia seed pudding. And I love to have chia seed pudding for breakfast. So I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of chia seed. I'm 
And to that, I'm going to add half a cup of milk, and I'm just using oat milk. It's my milk of choice. This is not my favorite oat milk, but it's what I have open, and I want to use this before I open my other milk. Okay. Give that a spoon. I'm going to give that a little stir, and then to this mixture, I'm going to add, if I can get it open, I'm going to add a tablespoon of maple syrup, or a little bit more than a tablespoon of maple syrup, and maple syrup is I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I like vanilla, so. If you don't like that much vanilla, you don't have to put that much vanilla in there. And then I am going to add a tablespoon of cocoa powder make it chocolate, because I like the chocolate juicy pudding. And I'm just going to stir that up, and I just eat it like this. You could put berries on it, or granola, or some nuts, or some nut butter. Peanut butter chocolate juicy pudding would be yummy and delicious too. all the cocoa powder in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for a couple of hours and let it start to thicken because what's going to happen is those cheese seeds are going to start to absorb the liquid. So basically the chocolate milk. Um, you can also use honey to sweeten this if you'd rather use honey. Um, you could really use any sweetener, your sweetener of choice. I prefer a liquid sweetener as opposed to a powdered sweetener, but like I said, you could use what, what you have on hand, what you prefer, or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to give this a little mix, make sure I have all of that cocoa powder incorporated in there. And then I'm going to let this sit in the uh, refrigerator, I almost said microwave, <laughs> in the refrigerator for a couple of hours just so that it can start to kind of thicken up a little bit. And then I'll give it another little stir, see if I need to add more chia seeds to it, and then I will divide it up into my little drops. Okay, so here's my five quarts of chicken bone broth that I canned and is cooling. It seems like they've all sealed, so keep your fingers crossed. This is the rest of the bone broth that I just put in this pint jar with this reusable lid, and I'm just going to stick it in the refrigerator and go ahead and use it. I got my four little over one pound packages of the pork roast. I have my two chia seed puddings here that I'm going to stick in the refrigerator. <clears throat> this is the big pot of soup that I made that I am now going to um, divvy up and put in containers to be saved for meals later on. And the crock pot full of the pork bone broth that I'm making in the crock pot. So, and there is everything that I made today okay that's all I have for you for this episode edition video anyway tomorrow we're going to be doing
potatoes. We're going to be doing this pork bone broth in here. And I don't know what else. I have no idea. But we're definitely going to be canning potatoes tomorrow. Because I have those red potatoes and I have those sweet potatoes. And I have some russets that need to be canned as well. So, or dealt with. Something needs to be done with these russet potatoes. Um, so yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for coming along with us today on this adventure in homesteading. I guess that's what we're doing. I don't know. Anyway, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And make sure you ring the notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. And we will catch you in our next one. Bye.